So how did you find your way to XTSC and your new role as ambassador for the club? Well, you know, I'm always through my foundation looking for ways to, to help and give back. This was unique to me because I came to Toronto, I didn't know what to expect. I hadn't been to Canada many times other than literally a night, play the game and leave. So I didn't know what to expect here. It was a bit of a roll of the dice, you know, coming to play for this club in terms of the project that was ahead of us and what the vision was, right? Uh, you know, nobody knew for sure, but I was not, something felt good about it. I don't know what it was. You know. Toronto's given me so much the past two years. I mean, I may not seem like it from the outside, but on the inside, my family was so great because I've never loved the place so much as I love here. I've never loved the club as much as I, I, I love it here. So, you know, I hope to retire one day. And the fact that that's given so much to me, I felt like, I wanted to find an opportunity where I can give to them and to kind of now be in a position to help, you know, even if it's in a small way, identify you know, the next you know, Kyle Aaron, you know, Will Johnson, but even on a, on a higher platform, you know, players of real quality for Canada would be, would be amazing. And so that's the opportunity that was come before me with, with XTSC and, and now we're trying to, you know, in little ways, try to affect the growth of Canadian soccer. Obviously, I'm not a pioneer. I'm not saying I'm going to change the soccer landscape in this country, but you have the opportunity to partner with a great organization and kind of give kids a place to play, give people a place to play that they can hold their skills. It, it, it's, 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 it's nice for me.